Hey guys, Helen Hartsmith here from the Heart of the Witch's Path YouTube channel, coming at you with another video response for the 2017 YouTube Pagan Challenge. This week's question has to do with ethics. What are your ethics? Um, I, as far as ethics go, um, they're, as far as rules and how I live witchy, I tend to follow the 13 rules of the witch. And if you haven't heard of them, I mean, they're all over. You can do a simple YouTube search, or YouTube, you do YouTube probably, but a Google search for 13 um, rules of being a witch or what, yeah, 13 rules of a witch. Um, they're pretty, they're pretty standard. Uh, know yourself, know your craft, learn and grow, apply knowledge with wisdom. Achieve balance, keep words, keep your words in good order. I think that one is a super huge one to live by. Uh, keep your thoughts in good order, another important one. Celebrate life, really good. Um, attune with cycles of the earth, breathe and eat correctly, which can be a challenge. Um, and something that I'm working on right now. Uh, exercise the body, another thing that I'm working on right now. Meditate and honor the goddess and God. And I would actually, um, I tend to look at universal deity archetypes as a goddess, God, and great spirit. So honoring them. And so that is your typical 13 rules of a witch. So that's what I try to pretty much live my um, my practice and my life by. I also live by the read um, and at harm none do what you will. Um, I think that that is important. And I know that there are some out there that think that maybe the read is a little antiquated. And you know, if that's how, if that's your personal opinion, then I don't have any right whatsoever to say that it's right or wrong. But for me, I definitely like to live by the read, but I also know that I know how to protect myself if I need to. And even when it comes to protection, just because I have someone, just because there might be someone that is wanting to do harm to me, that doesn't mean that I necessarily have to do harm to them in return. You know, it, it can be something as simple as blocking their intent, binding their intent so that it doesn't harm me, so that it doesn't come to me. Those are... Uh, um ideas for for spell work that that come to mind when I need to deal with someone like that and it's not like I've even really had to deal uh, hugely or a lot with um with people like that I know that there are people that have and ultimately you're on your own path and so you have to make the choices for yourself um, I choose to try to do as little, little harm as possible. I know that I know that I can't completely eliminate harm from my life, but that's part of the reason for the choices that I've made in terms of going vegetarian, hopefully vegan, um, and and things like that. So we all have to make those kinds of choices, and so I try to do as little harm as possible. Um, another thing that's important to me, too, is respecting the privacy of pagans around me. And I think it's a little easier for me to connect with that idea because we do have members in our coven that for various reasons, and they are completely their own, they're not necessarily out of the broom closet. And I think that you can't push someone into coming out of the broom closet. They have to be, um, they have to be willing and able and mentally prepared to deal with things like that. 
Um, I know that my family, for me, my family, for them, I think pretty much everybody knows that I'm Wiccan um, and they respect it. And we, I have conversations with certain people. There are other people that I just don't discuss it with and that's because it doesn't come up. So you have to be respectful of people's boundaries. And you also have to be respectful of their identity when it comes to social media and and letting information out about them. That's one thing that Kathy and I are actually dealing with with our pagan meetups that we started last year. Um, and we that's one thing that we reassure anyone who happens to come to a meetup or event or anything like that is that your privacy is important to us and we will do everything that we can to um, to protect that privacy. And I think that really plays into ethics too. Uh, another thing that when I think of ethics that comes to mind, um, has to do with when I am visiting another entity, um, as far as another group where I might attend an open ritual or be invited to a ritual or a gathering or something like that. Um, I think that you still have to extend a certain amount of respect um, with that as well. And, you know, you don't bring extra people that that they might not know about that's coming. You ask, you be respectful. You know, you say, are there requirements of me that are going to be required in this, um, this ritual or this event that I'm going to? And, you know, make sure to have that communication before you get there. Those are all kind of ethics, things that kind of are outside of rules per se. So, um, yeah, so those are kind of the different things that I think about when I think of ethics, when it comes to my faith. Um, and I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. So, um, I will let you go. Um, and if you liked or learned anything from this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Feel free to comment either on this video or at, uh, heart of the witch's path at yahoo.com. That's going to wrap it up for this time. Thanks for watching. And until next time, thanks for walking the path a little while with me. Blessed be.